a lot of people, when I do a demonstration, um, they look at this and they're just like, oh my gosh, God, this is just way too much. You need to you need to tone it down. And so usually then we do a focused presentation towards a specific group and we're like, hey, here is the, uh, for example, somebody that's in sales and collections, for example. So they only have these specific uh, dashboards or excuse me, workspaces that are exposed on their dashboard. Um, so what you can do to get to that um, are a couple of things. Um, number one, what you can do is you can right click uh, anywhere inside of the screen if you want to, to go through the personalization aspect um, inside of Dynamics 365. And you're gonna see this is a pretty common theme um, as you go through any of the areas inside of Dynamics 365 uh, for finance and operations, also known as finance or supply chain management. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to personalize my group here, and I'm gonna personalize this page and then we actually get our personalization bar up. Um, and this is a really handy for basically going through really quickly and for example, hiding different types of workspaces that you have that you just don't need. So if I click on the hide aspect for the elements, I can say, you know what, I don't work in banking, I don't do budgeting, I don't believe in business documentation, I don't believe in process, I, I guess my business would not survive that long to be honest, but um, I don't believe in all these different areas, right, that I can go ahead and turn off and maybe it's not, I don't believe, it's just that I can't use it. Um, I can go ahead and do the personalization perspective here and once I close this, you're going to see all those workspaces go away. So really handy tool to go through and then refine these specific workspaces. Um, I'm going to just do a couple of these. So let's go ahead and personalize. Let's go ahead and hide. And you're going to see, I usually do the groups because you can do like the little one on the inside. Um, and this is a tip. This is a pro tip right here just move over to the left a little bit and then you can see the entire thing with it. Um, otherwise, if you just hide this, there can be, when we do some of the other personalization options, um, it won't actually hide the entire uh, pain or the entire group um, and that means then that you could have different actions that are exposed on there and maybe you want that um, but we'll just hide a bunch just to go through and just show this and click on OK and close and now we should have a smaller list here as it keeps on refining as we go through this so a basic feature right so let's go ahead and then let's say you know Scott I've, I've gone through the sales order processing and inquiry um, I really don't like this workspace because you know what, I can't add a Power BI tile to it, or I can't do something uh, with this area because it's one of those workspaces that came out of the box. Um, well, what you can also do inside of here is you can add workspaces as well, right? So you can personalize, and I can go ahead and add different fields if I want to, um, or I can add apps, or I can do a couple of different options that are inside of here too. So um, it allows for you to basically go through and then personalize this by going and adding, for example, a workspace. Um, and this is a newer feature. And I just want to kind of share this with you too, as, I, as I'm sharing this, I keep on clicking on it. Um, but there are newer features that the Dynamics team has implemented um, in the spring release that's coming up here. Um, and in fact, it's I believe it's getting pushed out pretty quickly here. Um, but basically, if I go to the personalize here, this used to be add a workspace but now it says add a page and what I can do is if I click on the add a page you can see now that I have different options that I can add basically into my front screen here so I can add a workspace I can add a link to a power app or I can even add a website um, that you can click on then that navigates to that particular site. I'm gonna stick with workspace to start here. Uh, we'll do more of the Power uh, app when we go through that portion. I'm gonna say this is my sales order processing workspace, right? And click on okay to that. And what we should see is that we should see, as you can see, my sales order processing is a new workspace that was added. Now from here, I can then go ahead and then add different uh, areas if I wanted to into this. Um, so an example of that, let's go into my sales order processing. And I really do like this all customers, right? It does give me a list of all the customers that are related to it. And when I click on that, um, in my options on the far right here, 
what I can do is I can take this view and then add it to a workspace. So we built that workspace on the default dashboard. We've determined that that one workspace just really does not work for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add this list um, to our particular workspace. Um, so I should be able to find my workspace inside of here. So if we look through it, we've got my business processes and we have my sales order processing workspace that's now available here. And what I can do is I can added as a couple of different options. And I just wanted to highlight this for you. Um, this feature right here in my mind is a very huge differentiator for our solution um, because you can basically design your workspace um, to handle what you need to tackle in the morning as part of your business process. An example of that, maybe you need to have a list every morning that you go through to verify EDI orders that came inbound that have a price match discrepancy. All you do is you filter down your sales orders list to include EDI orders or an or origination of EDI orders. And then from there, any of them that have an error. And then what happens is you can have a list in your workspace that you can click on to access to get to that information. And you can set it up as a tile, uh, for example, to make it more of like a queue, uh, almost like a, a file folder uh, that you basically have to empty as part of your business process to move on to the next stage. So I'm gonna configure a tile. I'm gonna call this all customers as an example, and I'm gonna show the count on the screen as well. And so now when I go to my wonderful new My Sales Order Processing screen, I should have all customers on here with the count that's related to it. And this basically means any list that's inside of here, I can do that with. So I can click on my all customers. If I wanted to add it to a workspace as well, and I wanted to make it as a list, I could do that click on the configure action in here. It's gonna ask me then what fields I'd like to have on that list that's available. We're just gonna stick with the default for now inside of the my view. Click on okay to that. Go back then into our workspace here and look at that. We have an actual data list now that's exposed into here. Um, we can also do some other fancier things inside of a workspace. Uh, you can go ahead and basically personalize a workspace. If I go ahead and personalize this workspace and I personalize this page, I can go ahead and add, for example, a power app or a different area uh, of functionality if I wanted to, or a specific field if it's focused on actually a, a table in the background here. So like I said, there's a lot of different options that you have for the personalization um, that you can tackle then inside of these new workspaces that you create.